In Ross' initial exclusive on the subject, he claimed Flynn was going to testify that then-candidate Donald Trump instructed him to contact Russian officials during the campaign, an allegation that Trump had inappropriately colluded with Russian figures before the election. However, the truth stood that Trump made no such instructions until after he had won the election, which was perfectly legal for him to do as the president-elect. Ross was suspended as a result of the mishandled report, which appeared suspiciously to be a liberal network salivating at the chance to suggest wrongdoing by the Republican president. But ABC News and Ross aren't the only media figures who've had problems with accurate journalism lately. Acosta's own network also had to issue a recent correction regarding Trump. On Friday, CNN erroneously reported that congressional investigators had obtained a mysterious 2016 email that was purportedly sent to Trump and other top aides. The email contained information regarding how to gain access to hacked Democratic National Committee emails from WikiLeaks. The network, however, botched the date on the email. In reality, the Trump campaign did not receive the email until after the hacked data had already been released to the public. In its correction, CNN noted the change in date indicated that the communication is less significant than CNN initially reported. Perhaps a little journalistic investigation could have revealed that important tidbit before they tried to take down the president using incorrect information. Despite those blunders, Acosta refused to cease challenging Sanders on the subject trying several times to interrupt the press conference. Jim, I'm gonna say once and for all that I'm moving on, and I'm not taking another question from you at this point, the press secretary finished. He should have stopped while he was already so far behind. Like and share this article on Facebook and Twitter if you're glad to see Sarah Sanders put this liberal reporter in his place. What do you think about this showdown between the White House and CNN over fake news? Scroll down to comment below.